Well, week one of the Duffy trial wrapped up today with the defense team once again driving home just how ambiguous Senate spending rules are. The upper chamber's former law clerk took the stand for a third straight day. He was supposed to be a witness for the Crown, but Duffy's team has managed to use him to their advantage. As Jacques Bourbeau reports, this is only week one, of course, and the disgraced senator still has a lot of explaining to do. Among Mike Duffy's many legal troubles are the contracts he gave to a buddy, Gerald Donahue, worth $64,000. Money that was used to pay for personal trainers and makeup artists. Duffy's defense, the Senate is a place where almost anything goes, whether it's housing, expense claims or contracts, senators can spend pretty much as they please. For the third day in a row, Duffy's lawyer, Donald Bain, went over the Senate's rules with former law clerk, Mark Odsent. Odsent agreeing that when it comes to their office budget, senators have broad administrative discretion. You hire who you want to do the work you want done. Otsent also agreeing job descriptions are enormously broad and completely open-ended. The only limits are senators can't exceed their $150,000 budget and can't spend money to further their private interests. Here to support my independent colleague. <laughs> now yesterday, suspended Senator Patrick Brazo made a surprise appearance at this trial. Today, Justin Bieber entered the picture. It came when Crown Attorney Mark Holmes was making the point that just because Prime Minister Harper appointed Mike Duffy as a senator from PEI doesn't mean Duffy is a resident of that province. In the same way that if Justin Bieber, who's 21, was appointed to the Senate, that wouldn't magically make him 30, which is the minimum age for a senator. The rules may be open-ended, but still, Duffy and his lawyers are going to have to explain how flying to attend a funeral or to give a speech that saw Duffy pocket $11,000 in fees are part of his duties as a senator. Donna? And it continues next week. Jacques Bourbeau, thank you.